viewers, this video I am going to talk about the micropropagation of banana. So how to generate a tissue culture banana. So we are going to see about the step by step process. So what are the things we need? The first and foremost we need micropropagation of banana. We need a sterile double distilled water. Okay, this is from free of microbes and free of salts. This is the starting material for any kind of tissue culture work. Okay. Then we need from all macro, micro and vitamins, amino acids and growth hormones we need. This is called as medium. This is MS medium. This is uh, articulated with 121 degrees Celsius, 15 minutes and 15 PSI pressure. So it's uh, without microbial contamination also with quality check. So this is the starting initiation medium. Okay. Then we need to take the apical shoots. That is what explant. Explant means the source of plants. So if you, if you take the apical meristem, so if you keep in this medium, so this medium is added with the growth hormones. Uh, first initially they will add for cytokinin. That's the BAP. So the internationally the five milligram BAP they added this medium. Once in 45 days, the, the apical meristem is started to sprout. One, sprout uh, started to the axillary shoots, they will develop. So what is the process called subculturing? Subculturing means once in 50 days we need to change this plantlets to the fresh medium. That is called subculturing. Okay, this is the process will take the seven months. Seven months the process. The final stage will get the multiple shoots. Okay, the multiple shoots will be developed. From these multiple shoots, we going to isolate the shoots. We will keep in the shooting medium. The shoots will be developed and finally they will kept in rooting medium containing oxygen like IA and BAP they will add it and the once the root proper root is developed then they will take it out the plants and wash out and keep in the hardening chambers. So hardening chambers this is the secondary hardened plants. So the root and shoot developed well developed plants will accumulate in outside environment to transit into the soil. Okay this is the things. So from this whole process will take seven months in the laboratory condition, then two months will take in the outside environment that is for the greenhouse condition. This is the final product. Okay, what are the advantages of micropropagation? Okay, so conventional banana cultivation and tissue culture banana cultivation, what is the main difference is this is a uniform growth, high yielding and uniform growth as well as it's a disease free. So if you get, if you cultivate in conventional suckers, it is age difference, the fruiting habits will be different, disease also spreading. By using our tissue culture banana plants, it is uniform harvest, uniform bunch weight and also high yielding and also the disease free. So we are growing the banana in disease free environment, okay, this is tested by, by the virus as well as with the four kind of virus, we are isolating the meristem tip culture, meristematic region, the free of virus, so that this is the difference between, and also the easy transport from one place to another place. If you want to transport the shooting stage from here to in North in South India to North India, as well as one country to another country, we are exporting the plantlets, it's a very, very easy. So, oh, advantages of micropropagation, not only for this banana, for all crops, it's a very, very useful for the fastest rate of multiplication and rapid multiplication of plants year round we are getting the plantlets. So this is the tissue culture banana how we are gen generating in the laboratory to the field condition. Okay. So any doubts or any queries please let me know contact the, my email address. So thank you for this video.